Kubernetes security topic pod security admission which is a successor of pod security policy which is one of the topic in CKS so as we know if you create a pod security policy and try to apply you will get a warning it will create a pod security policy but you will end up with a some warning it's saying that it's a deprecated in 1.21 and unavailable in 1.25 means if you go to the documentation right there will be a caution is mentioned here it is deprecated in 1.21 and will be removed in 1.25 means it they will permanently remove the pod security policies in 1.25 until that they will maintain but what next this is a pod security admission so we recommended migrating to pod security admission right so right now pod security admission it is a one of the admission controller so the old one is pod security policy but the new one is pod security admission is one of the admission controller this pod security admission currently is in a beta feature so that means whatever the video i am recording based on the all the beta features that means it's not released yet so when i say release means there are release stages alpha beta and general availability so when the feature is completely out means it's general availability which is called a ga right and before the ga there will be alpha beta and etc so if it is depends on the company to company but the kubernetes point of view what i know is alpha and beta so currently it's in a beta so beta means what currently we are in a 1.23 so uh, i have a kubernetes cluster which is created by using a latest 1.23.5 if i am not wrong so if you are in 1.23 then this pod security admission is enabled by default but maybe you can say i am using a older version what should i do you need to enable it manually yes now this is a admission controller right pod security of course pod security policy is also admission controller so let's try to recap how the admission controller will work anyway however i have made one video on that um, on the admission controller please go and watch so let's say you have executed applied one deployment and you are using a kube config right and it will go and hit the api server first authentication phase then authorization phase then after that admission controller will comes into the picture then after that it will store in the etcd so admission controller role is basically before storing in into the etcd it will be triggered by the api server to do the modification or val validation whatever and admission controller will have a a built in admission controllers means there are a kubernetes is defined these are the built in admission controllers out of that pod security is the one of the pod security policy was the old name but now i will say pod security is the new one which is in the beta feature and there are a red color i mentioned these are the dynamic admission controller so built in admission controller dynamic admission controller and uh, right the next so right we know it's a admission controller but what exactly this pod security admission will do in short means of course it is for the security that's the first one second is what kind of a, so you can apply a restrictions at namespace level what namespace kubectl get namespace right that namespace level you can apply security restrictions how namespace is nothing but if i'll go to the kubernetes cluster right kubectl get namespace right so i will get my namespace this namespace level you can achieve security by using a labels yes how it's a label is kubectl get namespace hyphen hyphen show labels my default namespace has a some label i don't know right this a default label is applied by kubernetes right so here yeah. so means if you wanted to achieve a pod security with a new feature in the namespace level let's say here is a dev namespace apply a some label that label will have a mode and a level then 
all of your pods in the namespace say this is a dev namespace i applied this label this is a mode and level mode and level i will explain in the next slide then all the pod will follow such kind of a security means it's like a umbrella so umbrella level you are applying a security and all the pods will follow that security restriction as simple as that and also pod security admission also can be applied at cluster level as well yes not only namespace but also whole cluster level that is how by using a admission configuration file so these are the two ways you can apply and if you wanted to know about that and go to the google pod security admission right and uh, this is the first link pod security admission and there is a github.io and this are two links just open that right and this is a pod security admission and uh, right now this is a github page where pod security admission is given and i go to click on this link and this is the actual requirements are defined actual enhancements were created right uh, so this is the whole information and these are the two main references for this documentation right and 1.23 it's enabled by default right right now how to enable and disable so as we know uh, in the documentation it's saying that 1.23 enabled by default and 1.22 you need to enable manually if it is a older versions like a 1.22 right then kubelet level kube api server level you have to enable so this is the file kubeadm.configuration file or kube api server level this is the api server uh, yaml file the static pod yaml file hyphen hyphen future gates equal to pod security equal to true this is the what the complete you need to add which is nothing but secube ctl get describe pod in cube system namespace if i open a api server level right this static file you modify here hyphen hyphen future gates equal to pod security equal to true and let's say you wanted to try a multiple future gates right uh, say i wanted to test that means these are the all the future gates right here if you look at the pod security right uh, in the beta it's 1.23 is enabled if it is a 1.22 you need to manually add if you wanted to try out this the new feature which is 1.23 job tracking with the finalizer whatever right and maybe you can go and enable uh, in this fashion which is in the ap server level right i hope this is help now and alternative way uh, not only this is the way there is another way which is defined where you have to install a pod security admission webhook so that this pod security you can achieve which is mentioned in the in the documentation alternative and there is a admission webhook where you need to clone this github repository and apply you will be able to achieve the uh, same pod security but i haven't tried right now here if you look at the previous slide right uh, mode and level right so let's try to understand the so this is a constant value let's try to understand the uh, pod security levels right first of all pod security levels point of view there are uh, three levels one is a privileged second is a baseline third one is a restricted so if you look at the uh, documentation right um, there is a pod security standards which is for pod security policy also we will be following this right so these are the three levels privilege level is what it has a full admin permissions there are no restrictions at all widely open this is one baseline baseline means there is a these are the three predefined pod security levels so far by kubernetes system baseline means you have a some minimal set of a, a configuration you can apply this is a baseline right and restricted means this is something like hardened heavily restricted like a super restricted just only pod will have a most of the read only permissions and there are no any privileged uh, permissions so these three 
here go to the documentation privilege means full admin there is no further explanation baseline what is baseline so whenever you create a pod right when i say baseline means you have to if you apply these at the pod level it is restricted it's not called as a baseline and host namespace level if you specify privilege equal to true then it's not called as a baseline means if you follow baseline means this privilege this should be restricted always should be false if you wanted to call as a baseline host process container init container a formal container should be host process should be false likewise capabilities are allowed capabilities are the these are the allowed capabilities under baseline host path host port app armor ac linux and there are many more right and you get an idea and restricted restricted is a super restricted and which is a super hardened if you if i wanted to say when i say restricted what is a restricted your allow privilege escalation must be false if you wanted to say your namespace level is restricted so and these are the various are predefined currently right so these are the number 1 number 2 yeah of course this is at the security context level so all this security levels works under the security context level either pod level or container level init container level or a former container level in a short container level now next is the pod security modes first is the enforce mode second is audit mode third one is a warn mode enforce means what it will it's a rule it's a enforce it's a rule you have to follow that rule if it is a not followed means violated means pod creation will be rejected audit is audit means as a name suggest if it is a violated then it will audit a uh, record uh, audit event into the audit log and in the kubernetes security there is a, a video i have made audit policy maybe go and watch if you wanted to know about the audit policy and warning say i wanted to implement a security by just throwing a one warning this one so whether you wanted to follow the security rules or you wanted to audit or you wanted to warn of what the previous slide levels and go to the documentation right and pod security admission right here enforce audit and warning these are the three modes now here most important to remember is whenever you apply enforce pod creation will be rejected and audit and warning audit case pod will be created but audit will happen in the warning also pod will be created but warning will be created only enforce mode pod will be blocked I just uh, try to remember with this symbol now pods i wanted to implement a pod security admission in my cluster how do i do that right so first of all choose a kubernetes cluster first of all you need to decide what security level you wanted to apply which i show in the previous slide second is a security mode third one is a once you decide number 1 number 2 just apply as a label how pod security level we know privileged base and restricted so that means my pod to follow full admin rights or a minimal set of permissions or completely restricted you will be deciding here i will create a dev namespace kubectl create namespace dev right kubectl get namespace right i created dev namespace right so my dev namespace i wanted to apply this one or this one or this one all the pods i am going to create right that's one second mode say i created kubectl create namespace uat right and kubectl 
get namespace and uat so out of dev and uat namespaces which namespace i wanted to enforce what level that you will decide and apply to a namespace how as a label currently my namespaces doesn't have a labels kubectl get namespace hyphen hyphen label so there is a default namespace is applied by the kubernetes system so here in order to achieve you will be applying an additional label pod hyphen security dot kubernetes dot io slash mode which is you will be deciding in the step one and colon space and a level so these are the three mandatory means you will be deciding a security level is a mandatory and mode is mandatory only from these three then there is an alternate label optional which is where you can specify mode hyphen version and this is an optional where version is in what version is the kubernetes version you can specify like i wanted to enforce a audit in the 1.22 only or 1. i wanted to enforce a warning in in new version only something like that and where you will see all this uh, this thing and go to the github page and there are uh, see these are the api level the labels are defined here so for enforce enforce version audit audit version war warning version you can define and set it to a namespace and please note down once again it's in a beta feature whatever i explained may be change uh, once it is generally available now pod security uh, labels so let's say you have a dev namespace and under that i have specified my namespace as a enforce equal to baseline first is enforce is basically look at the old one mode hyphen version right mode hyphen level mode is what enforce mode which is three modes available right uh, enforce audit war enforce equal to what i wanted to enforce pod security standard which is pod security level baseline i wanted to enforce all the minimal base configuration in the dev namespace so that if i create a three pods with violating this standard then my pod will be rejected because i am choosing as a enforce enforce means it will completely block right if you specify war means this pod creation will be blocked right means if you specify warning then the warning message will be given audit means an auditing will be happen that's a uh, you know. and if you wanted to see the labels actually in the uh, official documentation there is a labels uh, are given an example this is the what the an example is given right and also uh, there is uh, multiple exams are uh, examples are he here you can refer here right so uh, say let's say this is my baseline namespace and where you wanted to apply enforce baseline to 1.23 and also audit also uh, do the auditing for the restricted stuff and also give the warning if it is not followed the restriction so that means allow the baseline but if along with that multiple rules are applied these are the combination right so um, yeah this is the what the one the next this is a namespace in the initial slide we have uh, learned that it can be applied at the cluster level as well how cluster level you will be creating a, a one admission configuration file which is in the form of a yaml this way i write and a kind equal to pod security configuration and here you will be def applying a, a defaults like what is the my whole cluster level i wanted to define i wanted to enforce privilege but this purely condition you will choose you will means uh, kubernetes admission will choose right and there are exemptions what is these exemptions means if you look at the pod security standards right these are the under pod spec security context or in init container or container level or pod level pod spec dot host network pod container level right along with that these all are talking about the security context right but 
there are some exemption for the few fields this spot security standard won't be applicable those exemptions you can configure at the cluster level of usernames say runtime classes this is also one of the kubernetes ckes uh, topic i have made a video as well on the runtime class maybe please go and watch uh, say i wanted to do x except say for example here i am testing there is a test namespace i created and i don't want to allow any kind of a rules this kind of security rule i wanted to full permissions to test just you specify the what namespace you wanted to the exemption right that's what the uh, you can or some runtime classes you can exempt so this is a what the uh, as per the documentation you go in this github page all the information is there it's a quite very detailed Uh, and very big as well uh, nice very nice so this cluster level admission configuration yes you will decide and you will create now how to apply qbps server level ad hyphen hyphen admission control configuration file equal to the path of the yaml this yaml file must be located in the master node you will have to uh, store this yaml file somewhere and mount it to the kubeaps server right that's a one of the again if you have uh, maybe attempted the seed case this might have experienced right so this is a kubeaps server yaml file right so here you need to hyphen hyphen admission configuration file say here let's say you are storing in this particular location etc kubernetes pk ica right so these are the already value mounted here so you need to value mount whatever this particular path where you store you just simply store somewhere and you are expecting no it's not going to work next is commands these are the commands to apply a label so kubectl label namespace label name and this is the the fixed and slash mode and as well as a level so you will be applying the and various enforce equal to baseline enforce equal to restricted and these are the three these three so all various combination you can apply and one more thing is to remember here is when you apply a enforce equal to baseline and you wanted to change override that particular uh, label before overriding you want to know how the server will react then in that case dry run equal to server to check whether how it will react means let's say you are first applied enforce equal to baseline means somewhat okay settings then after that you applied enforce equal to restricted means you are applying more restrictions what happens to the uh, existing parts it should sh show something right so you want to know the behavior then it is dry run equal to server is the best now the demo so i am in a 2 node kubernetes cluster 1.23.5 which is pod security admission is enabled by default and i have created a dev namespace and uat namespace right and which has a, a default labels which kubernetes applied i did not apply now if i wanted to make use of the uh, the pod security admission controller to dev namespace the first step is i have to apply this label right that's what the uh, namespace label so i copied that and in order to apply kubectl right la label namespace dev namespace and just paste now oops okay now the level what is the level here privileged or baseline or restricted so first we will try with the privileged so what i will do is and i wanted to use the mode as a enforced so three modes enforce audit war so first let's try the enforce so enforce right and then mode i'll put it here and the colon did not you have to specify equal to key equal to value and then when you enter right and this label will be applied how to check that cube ctl get namespace hyphen hyphen show labels then automatically the label is applied and this means my dev namespace will accept the privileged pods enforce right we go here pod security standards privileged is full admin right so now go to the yaml files uh, i have a uh, three different yamls one is the busy box pod privileged and baseline and restricted it's a simple busy box pod busy box image and uh, just two hours it will runs 
and uh, if you look at the security context privilege is equal to true run as a root user allow privilege escalation read only root file system and linux capable all are the dangerous settings why because that's why it's calling as a privileged you can do anything with this particular uh, pod now so here if you look at the documentation privilege is nothing but full admin rights widely open no restriction not at all second is a baseline so what is a baseline is same pod but the thing is under that these are the settings are different first is a privilege go to the baseline in the baseline if you specify a pod with the privileged right let's scroll down privileged what it is allowed if it is a baseline then privileged must be false privilege must be false if you make it true this is not called as a baseline pod that's why i specified as a false now uh, allow privilege yeah and allow privilege escalation for now just remove that just keep the simple capabilities scroll down capabilities here because we need not to test all the things right just one or two is enough if you look at the capabilities what is allowed here ch own i added ch o w n which is allowed these are the values are that's why it's a purely satisfying baseline requirements pod this one now restricted restricted is a another third type of a pod security standard standard right also we will call as a level if it is a when we will call as a restricted uh, pod which is if it is follows this one is allow privilege escalation must be false right so here allow privilege escalation you look at here allow privilege escalation is false yes that's perfect now the second run as a non root must be true non root right run as a non root must be true yes it's a non root pod then run as a user any non zero value or undefined or null so run as a user so here i specifying run as a user 3000 yes it's pretty much possible right that's why it's calling as means this pod is completely satisfying the restricted pod requirements defined by the kubernetes right so these are the three pods now come to the my namespace is a dev namespace and apply the privilege i will try to kubectl apply iphon f what is a pod name busy pod hyphen privileged busy pod hyphen privilege in a dev namespace i wanted to apply since it's a privileged pod it will accept and there is no problem here right now the pod is container is creating and a pod will run no issues perfect now what i will do kubectl uh, delete hyphen f right uh, so what i will do is let it uh, pod run right now clear kubectl uh, label what i will do is instead of applying a label as a privileged i will try to use as a baseline right so now i'll go here here baseline right so here when i try to apply okay sorry we need to overwrite otherwise it's not going to work that's what the because already there over right so just copy paste right now so when i override what happened is because already there is a pod which is a privileged pod is running that's what the it given the warning because already running but we set it as a kubectl if you look at the kubectl get namespace right uh, show labels right my dev namespace is showing a, a baseline because it will accept only baseline pod now kubectl get pod in dev right so what i will do i will try to delete this pod right uh, delete pod in dev namespace busy pod privileged now it will delete now what i will do is i will try to apply the same privileged pod when it is a baseline right uh, it's taking a time so maybe i'll just try to try to force i should have used a force okay now it's clear now clear right so now what i will do is i will try to apply uh, right so let's see the namespace right kubectl apply now i will apply the same privileged pod which is not satisfying this requirement right see that 
whenever I try to apply enforce mode as a baseline, it's not accepting. It's given the error from server forbidden while creating a busy box. Then pods privilege pod is forbidden. Violates pod security. Pod pod, pod security baseline equal to latest non default capabilities include all these things as mentioned why because in our yaml file these are this is a not supported by the baseline baseline will support ch1 and there is a list right so that's what the it given the nice error now what i will do is now here it accept a baseline right so how to prove that kubectl apply instead of privileged uh, i will try to apply kubectl apply iphone f busy pod under that baseline and in dev namespace now it's created kubectl get pod in dev namespace yes now my baseline pod is running yes it's perfectly running because mine whatever the namespace has a baseline is accepted only that now what i will do is now i will try to apply restricted right restricted means more restrictions than a baseline right so now what i will do is uh kubectl label namespace and instead of baseline i will copy paste otherwise i will mistake in the typing so restricted copy then here paste right now when i press enter i got a warning by because there is a already pod running with the baseline capabilities so warning existing parts yeah that's whatever i'm saying it is there in the form of written existing parts in the dev namespace violates this particular policy so you need to take care warning of this right because it won't delete you will have to delete that's what the and you wanted to know before applying then you can use that hyphen hyphen uh, dry run equal to server so that we will see that Right. So now what I will do is uh, I will kubectl get namespace show label. Let's see. It's yes, it's a restricted kubectl uh, get pods in the dev namespace. Yes, baseline pod is running. So kubectl delete pod in dev namespace, which is a busy box baseline and hyphen hyphen force. It will delete immediately. Now kubectl get pod in a dev namespace is nothing is running at the moment. Now I will try to apply a pod which is more than this and restricted pod both as well so first kubectl apply hyphen f busy pod hyphen first of all i'll try to apply a privilege and i will get error of course which is privilege is not a restricted one i'll and i'll also i will try to uh, apply the baseline as well right and this is also it will give me the error right these are the above the restricted class right now i'll try to apply the restricted here right restricted now it will it's allowed why because the pod definition yaml file these are the things are i choose and applied whatever they recommended here that's why it's accepted now kubectl uh, get pod in dev namespace yes restricted pod is running all good so wow, what i will do is kubectl uh, right get pod and kubectl delete pod right and the restricted pod i will try to remove so so far we have seen the demo of enforce mode now i will try to use the warning mode right so let's see that so i wanted to test make use of the warn mode right what i will do is yeah so it's taking a time so uh, i want i want force right that is a better choice kubectl get namespace i want i want uh i want i want show labels now it's a restricted is applied right uh enforce equal to restricted what i will do is i will try to uh override that uh to um kubectl label namespace instead of enforce equal to restricted i will try to add the var okay i don't want to restrict but i wanted to var if it is not satisfying the say restricted let it be right so this is uh, so here right and then 
now kubectl get namespace show labels right so it's a multiple uh, labels are there so i need to remove one label so what i will do just quickly for uh, for the easy and convenience point of view i will just try to uh, use this right and uh, this is a uh, easy right now kubectl get namespace uh, yeah there are multiple ways yeah now my dev namespace is gives the only warning which is not satisfied but what i will try to do is now clear right uh, so now what i try to do is now it's currently set warning i will try to apply a privileged or baseline what we'll see what happens kubectl get pod and dev nothing is running at the moment kubectl apply and i will try to apply so first restricted no warning now i will try to apply a uh, baseline what's a warning because as per the warning rule enforce means it will not allow you to create a pod warning is only warning but it will allow the pod in fact if you specify audit also it will allow the pod so here warning now i will try to do the another one instead of baseline i will try to do the privileged privileged also privileged pod is our creation allowed how to prove that get pod pod is creation allowed but a user friendly error message this error message what is violating that's how you can achieve the security by using that now the other one is a enforce and audit are you clear maybe you can play with the multiple settings and by the way in the documentation if you scroll down here uh, in the scroll down here there are uh, some example namespaces are given if you right click and open in a new browser this is a namespace how can you utilize the multiple labels uh, and uh, baseline namespace they given already uh, right that's what the uh, is that you can specify multiple if you want you can enforce a baseline but warning also you can give something like that you can put and you can add a combination as well you can enforce and as well as you can audit at the same time both the things you can do that right uh, that's way you can do and yeah and the, and the next one is audit so before going to the audit i have to enable the audit feature in my kubernetes cluster i just enabled audit in my kubernetes cluster so how to kubectl describe pod kube api server right if you look at that audit policy is this is the audit policy file and audit log path and audit message etc and if you wanted to interested in the audit you uh, dot yaml this is the audit dot yaml what i am doing is here all the requests in the dev namespace i am auditing and all the request responses in the dev namespace i am auditing and all metadata in dev namespace also auditing and all the audit logs will store in this particular log path in the my master node so and i will go in the master node i am already in the master node right cd sorry cd and this one right uh, cd then go to audit right ls there is audit log already so and if i say rm audit dot log right and it will automatically create a new audit file so before that what i will do is kubectl uh, get pod in uh, my get namespace in right my currently dev namespace is just giving the warning only on top of that i wanted to add add it as well so right so here again the same right uh, what they given and go to the uh, yeah in the documentation here and uh, if you look at the other examples here uh, built in admission controller right and uh, so in the admission controller also you can uh, it's given but now uh, i'm looking for the syntax actually but it's okay never mind i will do that if it is works it's okay anyway it's better kubectl label namespace and audit okay equal to restricted i will keep that okay and it's not over right so kubectl get namespace show label so here audit and as well as a warning both the things will happen now kubectl get pod in dev namespace of course there is no because i deleted just now what i try to do is kubectl um, but by the way uh, and if you wanted to know more about the audit then uh, also they have mentioned that uh, in the this kubernetes enhancements right and audit and this colon here uh, right 
right here uh, parts and template parts meeting the audit policy uh, will be ignored violations recorded in the in this particular violation so this is this feature has to explore more since it's a beta feature just to have an idea uh, uh, and uh, i'm just showing this uh, right so now kubectl apply i1f right busy pod and privileged which there is no error uh, right so yeah there is er there's something the good something we got error kubectl apply i1f busy pod and i wanted to apply the baseline as well right right now there is a warning uh, it's given right nice warning and also uh, privilege also i will apply because since there is no restriction here it's a just warning only right we can make it up. right now privilege okay and uh, yeah restricted i wanted oh sorry yeah this error message is correct because privilege and baseline it's given the correct and uh, restricted i don't think any error yeah perfect this is a perfect now so only the error is given uh, warning is given for my privilege and baseline but whereas restricted successfully why because this one so now uh, right uh, so clear kubectl get pod in dev namespace the three are running now i go to the uh, my master node right and cat audit log i1f uh, sorry uh, tail otherwise just do one thing just cat means no need to do the tailing but let's do the tailing tail i1f audit log right so so these are the uh, the audit logs are generated or uh, maybe if you just go and look at that all right i'm logging everything right just wanted to know what's happening in the system so just copy here and go to the google and json viewer just search for the json viewer and just pick the any one uh, not this one uh, i think this is the best beautify yeah i think json formatter so maybe we'll try multiple things yeah this is the best one all right and beautify right. so this is the json maybe at least you can see that right and allow json viewer right so uh yeah yeah so multiple document right and then allow data right uh, json viewer yeah this is a json viewer but the main idea what i am trying to show here in this particular json viewer it's log the event basically what's happening that's how you can make use of the this particular functionality i have not explored much about the audit annotation and this audit violations but since it's a beta feature uh, and as, as the documentation is clearly saying right um, that there is a, uh, this features may be changed uh, going forward so maybe you might have uh, some questions uh, whereas uh, some expert uh, where we are using a privileged and a baseline and a restricted right then what if i wanted to customize right there in the faqs they mentioned what is the profile between a privileged and baseline right so this is the privilege and this is a baseline i wanted to customize uh, some settings so what is an sig auth this organization will try to reconsider so we need to wait for the maybe you guys go and raise an issue or here uh, right but the thing is they have uh, clearly said that it's a case by case basis they will improve and also security profile and security context so currently we are uh, dealing with the security context level right so if you wanted to apply a security profile level right so and uh, that also is given um, and uh, if you want uh, alternates right uh, we have seen you know then if you want uh, alternate security then as they clearly recommend that you can make use of uh, other pod security policies pod admission control not only kubernetes one there are other and also opa gatekeeper and cube warden and kaiverno these are the alternate tools uh, where it has a own purpose and i created a gatekeeper there is even video as well maybe you can go and try sandbox and all there are many the things are there it's still in a beta we need to wait for 1.25 uh, and please refer this documentation this video is just to have an idea what is a pod security policy replacement and uh, get the feel of it thank you for listening let me know what you guys feel in the comments thank you bye bye